all right my people welcome back onto this channel well my people this is another one reaching us right now hmm where a lot of things do are actually being said onto this one well remember yoruba nation no going back exactly what the people are still talking about well my people with the news reaching us right now well i think i have talked about this some some days ago but the fact remains that majority of people are still yet to have seen this and this is still coming again and uh, right now i think i should say mama mrs modupo nitiri is now being vindicated how i will explain what exactly is going on right now yes you no know, over the week when Mrs. Modupo Nitiri declared the Yoruba Nation movement, a lot of people were against her. That why would she declare when we have Professor Banja Kintoye, we have Chief Sunday Go and others? She's supposed to have you no know, asked for permission before declaring it, or they should have declared it together. Why would she work on her own? A lot of things were said, and then the majority of people said a lot of things. Then after some time, we started, we started hearing some you know, information that, oh, what Mrs. Mudukbo Nitiri did was actually okay. She did it for a purpose, being that, oh, according to Mrs. Mudukbo Nitiri on her, cell, on her own, she had been able to let us understand that she did this. She declared the Yoruba Nation Declaration, so to say, simply because god gave her a new direction that as far as yoruba nation is concerned though in the first place for the interest of chief sunday Igboho, that's why she had to declare that and then some side of people now ask that question that in what way how do you mean for the interest of chief sunday Igboho? A lot of people asked that question and uh, she answered by saying that well a lot of you no know, people full and is the enemies of yoruba land are ready they are you no know, they are they have arranged all themselves to attack the yoruba nation movement most especially chief sunday Ibo, they are expecting that oh on that day of declaration they will attack and all that so right now god gave her another direction that there's not going to be bloodshed in Yoruba land. That he would not want blood to flow in Yoruba land. We love everybody. So because of that, God had to give her the wisdom to declare it even before the enemy will realize. And then that is that. And then meanwhile, a lot of people have now come out to, you know, make us understand that even those people who are saying oh mrs modupa nitiri did this did that that are complaining that they are not even up to twenty thousand people where we have about 60 million people that the next number of people the next number of yoruba people are solidly behind mrs modupa nitiri that the ones that are complaining they are not even up to twenty thousand I know, I don't know if any of you must have heard that. Okay, fine. Now, another one is just reaching us right now. And the majority of people, some set of people are coming out to let us understand that Mrs. Modupo Nitiri should be left alone. Leave Mrs. Modupo Onitiri alone. That's what they are saying right now. That Fulanis are now all over our territory. And uh, you people are talking about Mrs. Modupo Nitiri. She had declared, she had declared, then let, let her be. For reason best known to her. And uh, she has said that for those of you who are saying, oh, you don't want that declaration, what have you done to make the Yoruba people smile? What have you done? What do you have on ground that will elevate the movement or that will make the Yoruba people get to a better level? So that's exactly what is going on right now. And then a lot of people called in and then a lot of things were actually you know, said onto this one. The people are like, this is a crucial moment for Yoruba people. This is not the time for us to now be you know, discussing about some cock and bull past event that will not take us anywhere that if 
actually or if you no know, we actually love the Yoruba nation movement then to the level to which we are tackling this issue of Mrs. Modupo Onitiri should have been should have been put to a stop. Even myself, I was so shocked that up till now, majority of people are still talking about that. Meanwhile, the major thing that brought us together we neglect. Right now, I talked about uh, the information that this Biafra man gave some days ago talking about samuel Epa, he talked about the fact that yoruba land had been you know, surrounded by the fulanis in fact according to samuel Epa, he said it that you no, know, there are some particular places that this set of people are eating in fact they've circulated those places most especially in ogun state i talked about that some weeks ago some days back and then uh, i don't know a lot of people ate that and all that but meanwhile it's not coming out again the same information from another platform i now i was so shocked that majority of people never heard of it and then this time around a lot of people had to call in and then they talked about the fact that if that is the case let us leave mrs Modupo Onitiri alone she has done her own part what we are supposed to be thinking right now is to save the people that are within that area and they talked about the fact that they have even captured the whole of Ogun state and then some part of delta state Ukwale, then the remo awolowo area chief of late chief of Bafemi, area and then you know, some other parts like that in yoruba land and then right now the people are like oh if that is the case then why is it that most of our leaders because Samuel Epa was of the opinion that he had informed the Yoruba leaders before now to be vigilant and then watch over those places. Majority of people were like, oh, so all these things have been happening and then most of our leaders kept mute. They never said anything about it. Yet, they are there, you know, following what they are not supposed to follow. They are there tackling what they are not supposed to tackle. They are there... You no, know, giving some frimsy excuses about the Yoruba nation declaration by Mrs. Modukba Onitiri. That is that what we take us to the next level? Is that what we save the innocent souls in Yoruba land? This is not the time for us to be talking about Mrs. Modukba Onitiri. Leave Mrs. Modukba Onitiri alone because Fulanis are now all over our territory is this how we want to secure the land by back backbiting by talking against each other and the rest of the majority of things though were actually said and the people were so angry that let us stand up let us stand up and then face this squarely or else it will get to a stage that olori need lati di oriaremu meaning every old man for himself if this thing continue then it will now turn to a stage of all man for himself and then you know what that means if it's going to be you no know, if it's going to turn to a case of all man for himself that means a lot of people will just you know will will lose their souls hmm. and then uh, you no know, i think it is no longer a joke meanwhile samuel Ekpa, the biafra man said that he had given this information through intel that this set of people, this set of killer S men are now all over Yoruba land. That Yoruba elders should do the needful before it is too late. That they are hiding somewhere in Yoruba land. And he made mention of Ogun State, that Ogun State in general, that a lot of heavily armed foreign Fulanese are everywhere around that zone that is good that they are giving this information that though they might change their plans later maybe go to other places but the truth of the matter is are we safe then how are we going to be saved if we continue you no know, discussing a matter a, a matter that will not take us anywhere and exactly the complaints of the people and to the extent, majority of them were like, oh, the interim government that um, Mrs. Modu Bayonitiri is even planning 
to set up that this time around Ms. Modupo should just forget about it and then relax because right now she has done her own part that it's not an easy tax for somebody to come out you no know, show her face to the whole world that oh she is for this movement and not that and then somebody just raised know a very great point that somebody like mrs Modupo a lot of people are going against her do you know that this woman as we speak right now can never go into that country nigeria without being chased or even they will want to kill her that is to tell you that she has put herself into a very big risk a lot of things were said though onto this one so right now the people are like let us stand up and then face the main deal and uh, we should stop talking about mrs modupe onitiri's declaration and then uh, no hey <laughs> my brother my sister i think we all need to actually wake up because right now according to the information that had been given in case you have not heard this before it has been said that from first of december of december this 2022 we are in till the end of December, that the Fulanis are going to you know, storm, most especially in Yoruba land. And they, they gave us some months from first, most especially 15th to 19th, that they are going to strike. So right now, I think everybody just needs to wake up. Yes, and then do the needful instead of backbiting and uh, discussing on something that is irrelevant. Yes, Yoruba nation, no going back exactly what the people are talking about and then no uh, before i forget somebody raised uh, a comment which is the fact that before mrs modupe onitiri will say she wants to declare yoruba nation you should understand that there has been a solid documentation on that so she cannot just come out to say she wants to declare when she has not done her research and a lot of things were actually said onto this one well our prayer is that the good lord will continue to protect us all because we don't know when these people where they will even start from but the truth of the matter is they have surrounded all yoruba land and then that is why everybody needs to wake up let us stop talking about mrs modukwe onitiri and then face the real music before it is too too late well yoruba nation are going back exactly what it is what more can we say me well let me have your own take on this my people and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are new on this channel all right thanks and god bless